Buongiorno, hello from Ischia. So a few days ago, I flew with British Airways uh, from Heathrow to Naples, and because British Airways use uh, Terminal Three uh, to fly to Naples, I had the chance to visit all the One World lounges. I visited uh, the uh, Cafe Pacific Lounge. Um, British Airways lounge as well as the Qantas International London lounge. To find out which one is the best, um, watch this video. So the best thing about Cafe Pacific First Class Lounge is probably its dining restaurant. My glass of champagne is here. So the dim sum and noodles have arrived. Looks really good too. So I just ordered an apple spritz and his wife. So the fish and chips has arrived. Now I've got some strawberries and fruits as too. So there was a Cafe Pacific flight to Hong Kong and the lunch uh, was really full but now uh, the flight has left. So the lunch is a lot emptier now. Let's have a look around. So apart from the food, um, the view from the lounge is definitely another highlight of the Cafe Pacific lounge. From here, you can see the runway, the apron and all the aircraft movements. Alright, let's get some drinks here. So uh, they have a lot of champagne here. The Layton and there's this one, George for sale. Really I think I'm looking for the uh, La Compagnie. That's the good one. All right, so let's pour myself a glass of the La Compagnie. Also some other red wine and there's lots of liqueur and apro. Cheers. So on the other side of the Cafe Pacific Lounge there are desserts, strawberry and pistachio uh, tarts. Coffee, tea, scampi and chips. And this is the toilet of a Cafe Pacific Lounge. It's got Benford. Uh, toiletry products so overall what do I think of uh, the Cafe Pacific first class lounge well um, the food is generally uh, really good and compared to the Hong Kong one it's not probably not as good and compared to a few years ago, it's probably gone a little bit downhill, maybe a bit of cost cutting. But overall, it's probably still my go to lunch in um, Pivo Terminal 3 or One World. They have uh, probably the best champagne, and then they have apple sprays. Food is good, and I don't think you can ask for more. So I'll have a look at the uh, 
Christmas lounge of Cafe Pacific as well. Let's see how it compares with the first class lounge. When you first come in, it's a dining area. There's the noodle bar, very similar to the business lounge in Hong Kong, where you can order noodles and uh, dim sum. We also have a very good, have a, has a very good view of uh, the apron and uh, one ray outside. This is the buffet area. It's got cookies, muffins, salad. It's got soup. There are a lot more seats than the first class lounge, but of course that is to be expected. And this is the bar where you can order your uh, champagne and cocktails. In the first class lounge, you can just self pour uh, the champagne yourself, so that's much easier. There's more seats at the back. I think overall the business lounge is an okay place to spend an hour or so. It's obviously it doesn't compare with the first class lounge, but if you haven't got access to the first class lounge, then this one is a good lounge anyway. Next, let's go to visit British Airways Gallery's first lounge. This used to be the first class uh, dining area, but now there is no more. Here's the bar. A lot of seats, but not much is available. This is the start of a uh, half term, so there are a lot of kids in the lounge as well. Here's the champagne bar. That was the entrance. So today, uh, it seems there is no buffet food uh, at the BA lounge in T3. It's a bit strange, normally there is some uh, buffet food. But today, it seems everything has to be ordered. Let's have a look at the champagne bar. Let's see what we have got today. We got the uh, Kana to Shen. The design in the beach lounge is not that bad, but the product offerings have suffered throughout the years. Still, it's got lots of liqueur and drinks. So the order food from uh, the BA lounge has just arrived. This is the chicken rice. And this is, I think, the pie. Okay, I just finished the food um, that is served in BA Lounge. It's the chicken rice, and I can't finish it. It's all I can say is really ordinary compared to the Cafe Pacific food. This is definitely no match. So the lounge area in uh, BA Lounge is um, it's quite big, certainly bigger than the Cafe Pacific Lounge. But um, I don't think it's as good as uh, the Cafe Pacific one. 
alcohol wise, it has good uh, champagne here, quite a lot of liqueur, but it doesn't have Aperol, and the champagne is just a little bit less good, and the food here is definitely not as good. So if you only have time to go either the BA Lounge or the Cafe Pacific Lounge, then um, you should probably choose the Cafe Pacific one. The facilities are a lot better and the food and beverage are definitely better as well. So finally, is the Qantas Lounge. First, let's go upstairs. So this space used to be the Air Canada and uh, Scandinavian Lounge and it's really spacious and now it's the Qantas Lounge. They have a bar here. They serve uh, Australian sparkling wine. I just got a glass of the sparkling wine. Let's have a look at their buffet. Some guy bread here. Mm, soup. And uh, some rice here. Right, going back downstairs. Downstairs, there is a a la carte restaurant and uh, they serve really good dinner. However, it's uh, lunch time now and since I've uh, eaten quite a lot in Cafe Pacific Lounge already, so I think I will pass. So, this is the lunch menu. Um, hmm, during lunch time, there is not really much. There is hummus with a poached egg, chicken and fennel pot pie, and salt and pepper squid. Hmm. So, after all the free lunch visits, I just rushed to the gate, uh, only to find uh, they haven't really started boarding yet. But anyway, here's the verdict of the free lunches. Out of the three, the best is definitely uh, Cafe Pacific, uh, hands down, no question. Um, then the next is, it's difficult because the Qantas Lounge is a business class lounge and uh, beer does have good champagne. I would say at lunch time, um, the food isn't that good in the Qantas Lounge, particularly the buffet. Alright, the, the, the beer lounge isn't that great either, but may, maybe beer just adds you a little bit during lunch time. But dinner time, uh, Qantas have a good a la carte dining, so yeah, depending on the time of the day, uh, they are second. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.